Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking, using the method of cylindrical shelves method, cells, find the volume of the solid obtained by the rotating the region bounded by y is equal to ln x, y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 about the y axis. Let's see how we can find it. So first of all, we have to know the ln x graph. So let's draw that graph first. So the ln x graph always looks like this. All right, it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. So it goes like this, and the region we are interested in is ln x y is equal to zero. That's going to be just this line right here, and then x is equal to two. So x is equal to two. Let's say this is two. So this is two, and this is the region bounded by these two equations. So this is the region we are interested in right so let's see how we can find the volume of this region to find the volume of the region in cylindrical cell method we use this formula v is equal to 2 phi integral r h r is radius h is height and then uh, it depends on the rotating region dx or dy so here if you see that's rotating around y axis so it's opposite like dx if it's rotating around x-axis, we put dy. So since this is dx, we have to have this uh, radius and height in terms of x, right? So let's see how we can find the height and the radius. So first of all, let's go ahead and draw. So when we have this one rotating around y-axis, we draw a rectangle with the height parallel to this rotating region. So since this rotating around y-axis, we are going to draw a rectangle the height is parallel to y-axis so here we are going to have something like this and let's say this is our rectangle and the radius is going to be the distance from the rotating region to this rectangle so this is radius and x x is going to be the distance from 0 to this rectangle so here these two are same so we can just go ahead and directly write r is equal to x that's a good thing because we want this one in terms of x we already have this and let's see how we can find height height is going to be this one this height right here and that's going to be top function minus bottom function the top function is we know this is ln x y is equal to ln x and therefore top function is ln x minus bottom function we know that is y is equal to 0 so we can put 0 and that's going to give us just ln x now let's go ahead and plug it, this, plug it in this equation x is equal to 2 phi now we have to know the limits of integration we know this is ending at 2 x is equal to 2 but we have to know where is beginning to find this value we just equate these two equations ln x is equal to 0 we know that ln x is only 0 when it's 1 so this is going to be 1 this is 1 and this is going from 1 to 2 so the limits of integration is going to be 1 to 2 now radius we have in terms of x that's x and h we have in terms of x that's ln x dx now how we can integrate this one we can't directly integrate right we have a ln x and let's see how we can do this so here we can use integration by parts so here we have to pick up a u and dv because we are going to use integral u dv is equal to u v minus v du so this is the formula to do by parts integration by parts we have to pick up a u and dv so we have to pick up a value like we have to put the ln ln is hard to integrate right so let's take ln as u then we can find the derivative equals easily so here we pick up ln as u so u is going to be ln x and dv is going to be x dx and if I find the derivative of this one this is easy to find the derivative that's why I pick, I pick, I pick the u as ln x so dj is going to be just 1 over x dx right and here the derivative I mean antiderivative of this one is going to be x square divided by 2 now what we can do, we can 
go ahead and plug it in this equation so let's see what we get so let's continue this one right here so this is going to be 2 phi integral 1 to 2 so first we are going to have uv uv is ln x times x square divided by 2 so this is going to be so we are already integrating so let's put it in this one and solve this first and plug right here right after we are done we already integrated so let's get rid of this one this expression first let's solve this one right here u times v that's going to be now x times x square divided by 2 minus v du so v is x square divided by 2 x square divided by 2 du is half 1 over x dx 1 over x dx and if you notice this is square and x cancels so we have x x over 2 so let's simplify this one ln x x square divided by 2 and this one is just x divided by 2 if you integrate this one this is going to be x square by 2 that's going to give us x square by we already have 2 right here 2 multiplied by 2 that's going to give us 4 so this is going to be the integration of this one right here so this is going from 1 to 2 so let's plug the 2 first so we are going to have long 2 2 square divided by 2 minus 2 square divided by 4 and this is when we substitute 1 I mean 2 when we substitute 1 this will be long 1 1 square divided by 2 minus 1 square divided by 4 right and this is going to be just 2 long 2 because 2 2 can 2 and this power cancels so we are going to have 2 long 2 and this is 4 over 4 that's just going to be 1 and in the other side long 1 is 0 so 0 multiplied by anything is going to be 0 so here we are, we are going to have 0 minus 1 over 4 and let's add them together so here we are going to have 2 long 2 minus 1 and this is going to be minus minus plus plus 1 over 4 2 long 2 and don't forget uh, we have a 2 phi in front so we have to multiply everything by 2 phi right 2 phi multiply the whole thing so we have 2 phi multiply by the whole thing 2 phi multiplies the whole thing so we have 2 down 2 and uh, this is same as minus 1 can be written as 4 over 4 so if we add them together that's going to give us minus 3 over 4 right 2 down 2 minus 3 over 4 and that one is multiplied by 2 phi and that's going to be the last expression I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.